I saw I saw the the, the, the boat movie. Last you night. did? I went. I saw the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I saw the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I saw the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. And um, did you go see it? I went to see it. Oh yeah. wow! I okay. went to to the uh, Sony uh, screening room there. It's pretty nice. I never been there. Where is it? It's on uh, fifty. Uh, it's on Madison. Oh, it's Fifty fifth. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, really nice fucking room. Holy shit. And uh, the boat movie was playing. Right. The boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was good. It was really good. And uh, boy, the portrayal of the uh, Somalis. Uh, and this kind of gets into what we were talking about. I, I, was, I was thinking they were going to kind of gloss over their savagery. Soften them a little bit. Soften them. <laughs> make them sympathetic. Which to a little point they were. Kind of making at least one of them a little sympathetic. Or did they just turn him into a person? In some way, shape, or form. Well, right. yeah. You know. Yeah. Is that the guy that, uh, by the way, is that the guy that was finally, the one they turned into a person, is that the one that actually was arrested? Yes. Uh, see? Yes, yes, yes. that's yes. the only one, and I'm guessing, because there was one who was arrested that yeah. was brought to this country. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it had to be him. Yeah, and I don't know where they found this guy from. He looked like fucking Starvin' Marvin from uh, South Park. I think they use real Somalis. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. they had to have. Yeah. I mean, there's no they amount of makeup. They weren't actors. They weren't actors. Really? No. No. Yeah, they, they held an open casting call, and and him, uh, I think they're all friends. They went down there, and... Uh, Jesus. It's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. It was either that or go to fucking Kenya to a mall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, none of them were professional actors. It, uh, boy, they were they were really <laughs> good. They looked fucking crazy, and um, no amount of makeup could could make someone look like that. Right. <laughs> very Christian Bale can't lose enough weight to pull that no, off. No, very emaciated and um, that's a horrible country. Scarred up, <laughs> fucked up, fucked up teeth, like uh, just just really really nasty. What about the boat? Ah, uh, the boat. Well, they got, there were pirates <laughs> that took the boat. Now, let me tell you about the boat, because this is the boat movie. <laughs> I want to see the boat movie. That's <laughs> the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. It totally brings it down to this retarded level of what the movie's about. It has nothing to do with the boat. <laughs> no, it's a, well, in, in his big rock head, it has nothing to do with the, the tale of this captain or the no. fear of being, or the, the American spirit of saving uh, him. Or, it just, no. oh, well, I saw a big boat in the trailer. There's a boat. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks was really fucking good in it. But, uh, yeah, that's... Look at these motherfuckers are just... Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And they really played it well, um, their their role as the, uh, the Somali pirates. There's a certain kind of, I guess, uh, African look where, mm. where it's a very... It's almost like an oval-shaped face and the eyes are are and the mouth is smaller yeah it's a very like upside down not upside down a light bulb yeah. shaped head um and just big like wild eyes on these guys yeah and very small uh smaller mouth for some and that's kind of like a that's yeah. a frightening look when it's like peering down oh at you. Oh my and, god, over the top of a fucking AK-47 too. Yeah, yeah that's Whoa. different. Like you're over here justifying why you want to be ahead of people <laughs> in line for healthcare. That's the look of somebody that has no <laughs> care no for human life. Of, like, yes, like yes. no, it doesn't matter. I'll kill whoever if I have to eat. He doesn't care about subsidies, no. government subsidies and things like that. He, oh, if I kill you, then I get dinner. All right, yeah. good. Well, they were taught the, the the one part where they kind of it almost got a little ham handed as far as the a, a message goes is uh, Tom Hanks talking to this guy about um, about uh, like life being like a box of chocolates. You don't. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to yes. be this murderer killer. There are th other things you can do. And he goes, maybe in America, maybe in America. Like, okay, we get it. There's no fucking it gives you pause other to be... opportunity. Yeah, then you're like, all right, they're animals, they're fucking savages, they're murderers. Uh, they don't really have much of a fucking choice in the matter. In Somalia, that's a fucking bad place. Somalia uh, is a shithole. Well, recently, I guess uh, we had a SEAL team go into Somalia a, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, um, after they, they were grabbing some of these mall fucking um, terrorists. And uh, they got chased the fuck out of Somalia. The SEALs? Yes. Wow. Yeah, SEAL Team 6 
went in. They were supposed to go to this apartment, grab one of the guys, and fucking take them and get them the fuck out of there. They were met with uh, fire, with gunfire and grenades, pushed them right the fuck back. They had to be extracted. And, so, I mean, those Somalis, and again, the, the Army Rangers back in the uh, Black Hawk Down yeah. episode, again... They are fucking relentless. But it's not. But that's. It's not even that they're such great. Th it's the fact is that we're such a polite, dumb country mm -hmm. that we're sending in twenty guys. Right. Right. How about when everyone in a fucking place like that has a machine gun? Yes. You send in a fucking. How about you drop a fucking a, ni a nice one ton bomb on the building <laughs> yes. and get them and get them that way. How about you accept the collateral damage? <laughs> right. There's two ways to do it. There's the polite way, and then there's fucking the way to get it oh. done. Yeah, but when SEAL Team Six can't get the job done, I know. Maybe it, there is something to him saying there's a lack of opportunity for the common man. Everyone in has guns there. They, yeah. Everyone. Has they machine are guns. ridiculous as far as their fighting spirit goes. They're not very talented when it comes right. to. Um, uh, warfare. If, if oh, the training is, if they were all good shots, <laughs> yeah, it would really be devastating. Uh, yeah, there, there's a picture of them in the, the boat. <laughs> oh boy, it's uh, the boat movie's great though. As far as see the, the boat movie, yes, the the chase that goes on between the the big uh, ship and and that? the smaller skiff that's uh, chasing the boat and what they try to do to evade. The uh, ship and um, and Tom H <laughs> and Tom Hanks is really good uh, in, in like everything he does. He really is great. I like that Tom Hanks as an actor. Yeah. You but know, I you're getting a good boat movie when Tom <laughs> Hanks is in it. I want to see the boat movie. Yeah, you'll see it. It uh, opens Friday, I think. Right? Yeah. Friday wide, I believe. Friday wide. You should put out Captain Phillips Somali Pirates Halloween costumes. Oh, it's perfect timing. That would be great. <laughs> you got to see uh, Gravity too, though. Yeah, I want to oh, see the space movie. On that. I want to see the movie. space movie. That's out, right? The space spaceship movie. The space boat. <laughs> yeah, I got to see that. I'll, I'll probably go this weekend. Is there as much? There's probably Check not as much out. buzz on this film, so I'll, I'll get a chance. No, to see this. no, but uh, it's good though. I, I liked it, but th this whole uh, thing with um, the Somalis and, and what they were trying to. Like show that there there's no hope over there. Mm -hmm. No, I mean I look at that and go, okay, I understand, but 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 you where? don't care. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's that's the truth. All right, look, I don't care no. that much what happens in Somalia. I don't think we should really care that much. Um, I, I think I think if if left to their own devices. Uh, through warfare and and fucking genocide and everything else that goes on in some of these countries, it would eventually end. I think our our support of a lot of these countries perpetuates what goes on. How do you have somebody uh, farm? Let's say, how do you have them farming to to sell things when they're getting free stuff? Like, there's no real open market there because. Like why would you, why would you buy something if you get it for free? And then the warlords just sweep in and take everything, and they're 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 responsible for all, so much of their own misery. Yeah. And then the the argument is well, their their lands were pillaged by Europeans for so long that they don't have the. Well, you know, we dropped two atomic bombs on fucking Japan after devastating them with fucking. Uh, uh, incendiary bombs and burning every last building on the island and you know they were able to come back albeit very perverted and yeah. uh, very ashamed of their penises and yeah. uh, you know, very pedophile like but they came back well that's what we got to do see that's what happens now we're trying to fight polite and it's mm. not working you can't fight politely with japan no. it was all right you fucking bomb pearl harbor now we're going to almost wipe you off the earth. And, that, right. and then that makes a society go, all right, all right, you got us. Now behave. Right. <laughs> Let's cut we'll the malarkey. leave you alone. We'll right. leave you alone. We'll right. Cut the bunk. You know, you look at some of these other countries where it's like, all right, yeah, there's devastating things that happen through history. And, you know, sometimes you, you got to just look at history as what it was and um, try to make it better for the next generation that comes Sucks up. to be you scenario? Kind of. I think every... That's what they'll be saying about us. Well, the healthcare yeah. cries. <laughs> yes. You know, it right, was right. unfair. We had to pay more. We well, weren't getting. Well, it sucks it to you. Better for the next generation. <laughs> but that seems to be a problem, too, is that, uh, you know, if you, if you take the history as, as a lesson or as whatever, 
and and then you're trying to make it better for the next generation for your kids or whatnot. Uh, some people don't seem to want to do that. It's terrible. Just take history for what it was. Every nationality, every people that came over here are had saying, some issues. Are you saying you want to make this place a better place for the next generation? No, I don't care. That's what, okay. Yeah. I was about I to say. I think you really don't care. But it seems to be that the majority of people love to have that whole, ah, we got to do this for the, um, the children. Everything's for the children. Right. You know. I mean, it's not a bad thing. No, as a, a, a nation, it's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Individually, for some people, you know, who cares? Doesn't make sense for you. <laughs> what do you care if it's better for the children? You don't have any children. I have little Beavis. <laughs> Just <laughs> want things better for little Beavis. Yeah. <laughs> little Beavis. <laughs> he is adorable. Oh! Just the cutest little guy. Lays down on me, makes a little Beavis belt as he goes oh, to sleep. No. Oh, he just lays right on me, and I, I tickle his you little chin. You call it that, don't you? Shooka, shooka, shooka. You no, say, I took a picture. A it looks belt. like a little Beavis belt. No, you uh, tell lays him to on your stomach? Make a Beavis him up. Belt. I saw this uh, video. It was pretty funny. It's a little, little kitten, right? And a guy picks him up by the neck, and they do that little thing where they their paws go up and their back legs go up, and they just kind of go into a coma. But he clipped a clothespin onto where... Normally you'd do that and then put him down and he just tipped over <laughs> and just kind of didn't move. He was paralyzed. Wow. That's adorable. <laughs> How long can you pull that shit for? I don't know. Before the cat just dies. <laughs> no, do you pick your cat up that way? Nah. If he's getting like crazy, I'll pick him up like that and fling him on into the, the back room. of his neck. Yeah. The scruff of the neck. The scruff. Does he do that? Does he just kind of go into that? Yeah, yeah. They go into that little coma well, that's pose. That's like the natural way they should be picked up, right? Yeah, like, yeah that's I guess how their, so. their mothers pick them yeah, up. Yeah, oh, no. no. The when they become cradle cats. them. Yeah. It's, <laughs> the mothers push cradle them. In a little cat carriage. If I picked up Bruiser by the back of his neck, there's no way his little neck could sustain all that body weight. His, his You'd head pull would back come and off. his skin would all come off. <laughs> yeah. His neck would snap. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Aw. I just can't <laughs> believe the years of abuse I took for posting, like, dog photos from you. Well... Your dog's not cute. True. He is it's an cute. ugly, ugly he's dog. Actually, yes. smashed he was face. Cute. I saw that travesty. Yeah, he's one of the fifty cutest French bulldogs in New York. Oh, I have a oh god! How, how many subcategories do you yeah. need? He's <laughs> right. one of the fifty cutest French bulldogs owned by somebody who works for a radio station That's that gay. ends before noon and is a homosexual <laughs> and doesn't know Paul McCartney. <laughs> Keep rubbing it in. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. Uh, you want to you eat our, our breakfast? Yes. Out of and, each other's uh, assholes. Yes. It's the best way Ooh. to enjoy a breakfast. Oh, look. I totally didn't go to phones. Everybody was uh, Oh, they're calling. chiming in. They're filled yeah. up for a sec. I graduated from the Merchant Marine College and they're still getting attacked in Somalia. Yes. I like to give Anthony a history lesson. You want to? Well, let's get a little history lesson. Okay. All right. All right. Jim All right. in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Ron... Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, Ron. Ron Kind. Ron Kind. I, I, it's Rob, but in any oh. case, um, I have to take an issue with your comparing Japan post-World War II yeah. with Africa post-colonialism. Okay. okay um, Japan was a homogeneous society. Oh, now to condemn an entire population. Exactly, but at least he's saying they're smart. Yes. <laughs> 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 of course, of course. So, and after... Yeah. After they were bombed uh, by the two atomic bombs, there was a military dictatorship established by the United States, which enforced rule using their emperor as a puppet. The, the Marshall Plan. Was, yes. Well, uh, yes, that's part of the post-World War II. Yeah. But in Africa, the colonial boundaries that were set up mixed different tribal groups that had traditionally hated each other and slaughtered each other. And when the Europeans left after World War II, they left behind this kind of border system where these groups that had no intention of living in a country together found themselves in a nation state. So it's mm. kind of an artificial country where Japan was a pre-set up homogeneous society under U.S. rule. I wasn't so getting that. I know. I wasn't getting that far into the comparison. All I was really comparing was the fact that you can take devastation and it doesn't necessarily mean that you can never build up from it. That's all I meant. I wasn't saying that their societies were even remotely similar. I mean, Japan had a thriving economy and um, and uh, infrastructure before it was blown up uh, during World War II. 
um, a lot of nations in, in Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, never did. Uh, so, you know, that has to be taken into consideration, too. I understand that. All I'm saying is that uh, many nations around the world had uh, horrific things happen, um, complete devastation, complete demoralization of their people, and were able to um, rebound and, and become world powers in a relatively short amount of time. Uh, that was the comparison I was making. That's Japan all. also had to promise no military, no real military. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Japan was um, they yeah. really they yeah. really had to make some oh, uh, concessions. They got scolded. <laughs> Did they ever? Yeah, <laughs> the world was a little mad at them. Yeah, <laughs> and Germany, of course, too. Yeah, I mean, you look at some of those post-war pictures of Germany. Uh, there was nothing left. Yeah, I mean, as there shouldn't have been. Completely, yeah, blown up and devastated, and yeah. um, you know, again they. You know, they were able to uh, build it back up. Eh. I don't know. Okay, uh, thank you, sir. We'll uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back. Do we have Age October today? We have Age October. Oh man, we have some uh, Mayor Menino clips. If you want to get to ah, those, the, the good mayor, uh, Russell Peters in studio today. Michelle Beadle. Michelle Beadle coming in today. What? Yeah. Russell Peters bought me dinner last night. He's a really nice. He guy. He did. Yeah. Was it a sit down and eat with him dinner, or nope. was it he just looked over and said, "Yeah, take him." I'll pay for his. That was dinner. it. Wow. Yeah. It's almost insulting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was oh, happy. That's nice. Oh, that is nice. Of I, I said, yeah, just because I was, I don't know why I said, yeah, that was yeah, insulting. You did. You just jumped on the yeah bandwagon. I had a funny joke, too. Oh. After I realized he paid for the bill, I was like, ah, if I'd have known that, I'd ordered a bunch of cheesecakes. Ah, <laughs> uh, give me two lobsters to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> right back. You're listening to the Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. Sirius XM.